my server across all social media platforms you can you can hang out with me even on the socials you know what at Miriam underscore my server Instagram Facebook Twitter TikTok Kote yeah and Nix yes Nix the president Kila Mahali yeah. eh, Kila platform <laughs> yes Nix the president Bila Kubagua yes yes <laughs> <laughs> Ato kingia wapi wapi wapi. Ni WhatsApp tu. Hai na jina Nick the president. Iko na namba. <laughs> all right, all right. And today we're talking about honor. You see on on Friday, you know, the country celebrated Marshall Day and mm. uh, jina kwa iko pia kwa list. But anyway, we are here to celebrate you. Our viewers, we honor you and we value you. We value your time. That's why we do our best to bring you the best. And speaking of the best, today we've been joined by the best. <laughs> None but the best, you know what? The best. In, what I'm talking about is just the best in radio. We've been hearing and listening to him for the longest time. You know what? For the longest time ever. But he's... You know what, I had an introduction, Yangu. Let him, let him just introduce himself. You know what, thank you, thank you so much. I should say this. We honor you, sir, for joining us today. Thank you for joining us today as well. Asante. I want to talk about you. 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 I like in almost all areas. Uh, kwa kumpenda mwenyezi mungu na mpenda mwenyezi mungu. Kwa kupenda familia yangu na penda familia yangu. Kwa kupenda ministry yangu na penda ministry yangu. Kwa kila kitu na tufanya na fanya na passion. Uh, so let me say, I'm this passionate man uh, who loves the Lord and loves to be used of God. Mm. Uh, Indeed. How many by the show of bands? Huh? 22 pale social media tell us, hey, who knows Amani Aila? Who has listened or heard of him on radio and just was blessed by the ministry and you know, passion? Clearly, we can even trace passion in your work, Amani. Mm. Mm. That's one thing I can say. Passion in your work, you can trace it. You know, we I personally have listened to your show, the shows that you used to do on radio so many, so many times. But uh, before you got on radio, mm kuna story nyuma yake oh, yeah. kuna ka background hivi oh, yeah. ama bonge la background oh, yeah. eh? we want to know that before you got in radio where did you start from acha mm. niseme no. mimi sikupanga mm. kabisa kwamba nitakuwa uh, mwana habari mm -hmm. sikupanga kabisa i never thought of it mm. um, lakini pole pole Mungu alikuwa anafanya jambo katika maisha yangu uh, so wanapenda kutoa story ya kwamba nime hustle <laughs> nimeuza mandazi nilikuwa naitwa moto moto uh, nikibeba kwenye ndoo mandazi <laughs> moto moto asubuhi moto moto watu wananunua so it was good yeah. na siku idharau siku puza hiyo kazi ilikuwa inanilisha pole pole nikaingia katika hairdressing industry nikawa uh, beautician uh, tegeza nywele kunyoa nywele ya wanawake wa kike styling yes. weave nini nikafanya yote you, eh, oh wewe yeah. mani wivi mpaka makeup was very good what do you mean very very good Allah. then for some time uh -huh. so ikafika point uh, nikawa nasikia sauti inanembea move move uh, nilikuwa na hama kutoka nyumba moja hadi nyumba nyingine bado nasikia sauti inanembea move natoka uh, salon ambayo niko naenda katika salon nyingine bado mm. nasikia move natoka mtaa kwa mfano nilikuwa nyali slowly slowly move unasikia yeah. sauti nasikia kwa mind yangu na spirit yangu move you need to move now yes, you need, need to, to move. relocate oh yeah all right lakini sasa the word is move sipati more instructions oh. so na toka hapa nyumba moja hadi nyingine na unyasi umaje ni nyumba nilifikiria ni nyumba <laughs> <laughs> so ndona nikifanya kumbe na gundua kumbe eh. haikuwa nyumba. Uh -huh. So natoka salon moja eh. hadi nyingine bado nasikia tena move. Mm -hmm. So natoka mtaa mmoja mm -hmm. hadi mtaa mwingine. Mm -hmm. Kumbe Mungu alikuwa ni position pale anataka niwe. Uh -huh. uh, later katika spirit nasikia kwamba umekuwa ukirembesha watu uh, no, mapambo ya nje mm -hmm. lakini sasa nataka wa rembeshe nafsi zao roho zao. Uh, pole pole nikajipata naanza kuingia katika radio. Uh, kwa hiyo building ambayo nilikuwa nimeambiwa move nikaenda nikaingia hapo ndani ilikuwa uh, uh, basement uh, mm. Baraka FM ilikuwa the 8th floor Baraka FM yes. 
eh, Mombasa. Oh. Mombasa. Hizi hizi zote zilikuwa Mombasa. Yes, hii mm. yote ilikuwa Mombasa. Explains ya Kiswahili. Eh, ilikuwa Mombasa. <laughs> So nikiwa pale na tayari nimeanza ku release wimbo mdogo mdogo so kuna interaction na media. Mm -hmm. So natengeza watu nywele uh, presenters wanakuja na watengeza nywele wakubwa wa station wanakuja na watengeza makucha. Na wakinisikiza wanaona huyu mtu kuna kuna kitu ndani yake. Huyu Morin tukao namuita Morin sikiza mbanisha jina anajiita Masawe Japan. Naam. Masawe mm -hmm. Japan alikuwa shantangulia katika mm -hmm. habari na alikuwa mmoja wa wateja ambao alikuwa anakuja pale. Akaniuliza, nilikuwa najiita Daily Mess wakati huo. Deliver message jina la Kisani, sikuizi hapo. Oh, jina la Kisani. Mm. So, Masawe Japani akaniambia, "Wewe usha wife fikiria kuingia katika radio." Sasa hiyo ikawa ni confirmation. Maki kuna desire imeanza kuja ya kuingia katika radio. Mara nyingi ningechukua ningeingia kwa beauty room na niweke eh, radio pale na nianze kusikiza mziki naongeza volume mziki unaimba ukisha ukifade ninaanza kuongea kama mtangazaji una msikiliza pale anatoeka anaitwa <laughs> alafu nafanya show uh -huh. na show ya watu maana hiyo ni show inaendelea katika hey. radio so mimi napunguza mziki na fade ninaongea hmm. so ni passion tu ilianza kuiva na kutokota ndani yangu hmm. uh, nikajipata nimemezwa na Baraka FM nimepewa script fanya hivi fanya vile niliingia kwa redio kabla sijasomea redio ah. lakini baadaye nikaja kusomea hmm. na Mungu ni mwaminifu nimefika hapa kusomea ani jambo la muhimu pia kusomea just don't go into something of course if you're given an opportunity you also need to oh yeah eh, go back to school and study it is very mm. key now ukajipata aje Nairobi nikajipata Nairobi <laughs> mimi Nairobi sikuipenda Allah. Nikiwa Mombasa nilikuwa ah. nikisikia Nairobi na kereka sana. Nilikuwa sipendi Nairobi. Nilikuwa makosa ni Nairobi. Nilikuwa nasikia enzi zile kulikuwa na eh. visa vya wizi wizi. Eh. Eh. Kupokonywa simu, yani <laughs> wamshuku kila mtu kwa Nairobi lakini kila mtu unimshukiwa. Hiyo ni story ya watu wa bara. Yazikuwa pwani. Ama anyone is outside Nairobi and oh, imagine yeah. ingi at Nairobi ni kubaya kuna eh. wizi but yeah. Eh, yeah. Sasa yule ambaye liniachia show kuna ndio nipate nafasi baraka FM mm. show ya gospel ya Sunday mm. Anthony Ndemo mfahamu mm. alikuwa pale mm. Mm. so alipotoka kapata kazi na Robi mimi nikachukua kile kipindi yeye alipotoka Hope FM mm. akienda Standard Group mimi nikamfuata nikachukua hicho mm. kipindi lakini ndio niitwe pale niliambia watu marafiki zangu uh, kwa Bible Study Group yetu msiombe nipate kazi Nairobi nipate kazi Hope FM ukweli ni kwa staki uh, kwa kuwa nilihisi uh, sitaki sit, kuamia Nairobi alafu ndio mahusiano yangu na karembo fulani yatuambia story ya karembo mahusiano yangu ndio nilikuwa nianza sasa kushika <laughs> vizuri alafu <laughs> kazi ya, ya yes, Hope FM yeah, haja okay. so yeah. nilikuwa niko staki nataka 50 50 mm -hmm. Uh, lakini tukaomba kwamba Mungu aniweke pale anataka niwe mm -hmm. na nilipokuja milango ikafunguka tu ikabidi nimejipata pale mm -hmm. eh. story ya mrembo miaka 13 uh, uh -huh. eh. before tu tuendelee na hiyo story ya mrembo mm -hmm. na John umesikia mahali lakini kuna watu hapa waje vile mlikutana na mrembo <laughs> wow wow ni, ni, ni story poa uh, kwa sababu Mungu aliyosika pakubwa Nimejaribu ma mahusiano maisha he, he. nimejaribu unajaribu unaiamini ndio ina backfire unajaribu nyingine unaiamini ndio in fact kuna mmoja kuna mmoja ambaye nilidhani kwamba hakika nimesikia Mungu maana yake nikiomba uh, Mwenyezi eh, nikaambia Mwenyezi Mungu ni nitakapo muona atakayekuwa mke wangu nipe hiccups nipe hiccups Gideon was not alone. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a sign. <laughs> Ala sasa kusisitiza yeah. zikafuatana. Allah. Ya pili ya tatu nikasema ah God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, <laughs> you still speak to your people. 
Nikatoka pale mpaka nikaenda kumtafuta pale kwa reception lakini alikuwa asha maanza shift yake ameenda. Yeah. The following day kwa kwamba niende nimtafute. Ah lakini hayo mahusiano hayakuenda poa nilikuwa natumia nguvu nyingi sana. Mpaka ikafika point nikarudi nikauliza Mungu, "Ah, ni huyu aliyeniambia kweli?" Na sauti tena nikasikia katika nafsi yangu ikiniambia, "Hiyo ilikuwa ni wazo lako kwamba utatumia